Well, some hidden history at the Sweet Olive Cemetery uncovered. The historic African American Cemetery is in need of funds to help with its preservation. Local 33's Crystal Whitman tonight has the story of why the owner says those burial grounds are important to the history of our city. For many in the community, the Sweet Olive Cemetery is sacred, but the burial grounds hasn't been treated that way in years. Uh, I've been working with Sweet Olive since 1975. The president of Sweet Olive at that time is, was Mr. Fred Matthews. And Mr. Fred Matthews was able to convince the council of the city of Baton Rouge to uh, donate to the upkeep of that cemetery of $100,000. T. Winfield says since he's taken over management, he along with others in the community have worked to make sure the grass is cut, vaults upkept, and control the amount of vandals like those who unearth bones from a group. We have hired people to repair vaults and we, you know, we ha don't have a problem with trying to seek help to get vaults repaired, but you, you can't just uh, remove remains of people, you know. And like much of African American history, many of the people who are buried here remain something of a mystery. But what is known of that history hopes to be preserved. I, I, I would like to thank all of the volunteers, whether they're church groups, uh, men from uh, the corrections, or uh, uh, soldiers, uh, young men or young ladies. I would like to thank everyone. In Baton Rouge, Crystal Whitman, NBC Local 33 News. And for more uh, information on the efforts to preserve Sweet Olive, just head to our website.